t-shirts to give things like socks, because socks are so boring. But if you roll them up and you stick them in a Tupperware container, especially if it's um, a girl, you could use something like this, or a modular mate. Guys love modular mates in the garage. So think about using some of those containers for as wrapping for a gift. Or hiding a gift. Or hiding a gift. Ooh, I never thought of that. <laughs> and my husband looks at inside cutting. Right? They don't, you know. So I would just, what I, I think what I'm trying to tell you is that on every page of this flyer is something that you could use for uh, a giftable to make your life easier, to make your customers' lives easier to do some fundraising, to eat a big salad. So I, I want to encourage you to take your brochure and sit down with it and plan your display based on the kinds of things you like to do at your party, cook or um, do candy making or any of that type of thing. Maybe take some of the big things like the smart steamer your stack cooker and work them into your demo too. I never go without a Quick Chef Pro, without the smart steamer, even mm -hmm. if I'm not cooking in it because they're really high uh, price point mm -hmm. items. And besides, they're just things people need in their kitchen. Yes. So that's the brochure, and I hope you all Thank learned you. a little something there. Yes. Yeah. 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 Our fearless leader, Stephanie, and I had a talk a few days ago, and we were talking about signage and things that you can do for your tables. And I always have had some things on my ironing board, but they haven't been so creative. So I've been working on that. And I actually went to an event yesterday, and I put this sign on my table. And it says, need Christmas cash? One full-time and two part-time openings available. You can make $100 a month, $100 a week, $100 a day. Start your own holiday Tupperware business and ask me how. And then it talks, it says, schedule a Starbucks opportunity, chat with me and receive a Tupperware gift. No obligation. I actually had somebody come up to me and they read this, they went away, they came back. And they said, I think I want to join Tupperware. And I know, I watched her read this. Now, she was to be my guest tonight, and the uh, chair is not, not full, but that doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. It just that it does catch people's attention. And another, <clears throat> excuse me, another thing that I did that I did not use last night, but I will be using is part-time holiday help wanted. You know, people think of doing things in the holidays that they normally, you know, they'll go work in a, in a retail store to make extra money when they would never do that at any other time. And it says, you can make an extra $500, $1,000, or even $2,000 by Christmas. Now, if you're doing two parties a week, is that not part-time? Mm -hmm. And if you got to really going good and having parties and recruiting people, could you not have even more than $2,000 by Christmas? Oh, yes. mm -hmm. I just didn't want to make it, you know, sound like it was, you know, a get-rich-quick scheme. <laughs> um, and then it says, start your own holiday Tupperware business, make this a debt-free Christmas, and then again it says, schedule an opportunity chat. So I'll be using that one too. And then I got really creative. <laughs> And I made a little sign that says, need cash? Ask me about my consultant for a day program. Ooh. Get oh. paid to party. So what do you suppose a consultant for a day is? Oh, yeah. I'm going to ask them to have a party, and then I'm going to give them the profit. And after the party, when I dated two or three parties, and they see how much money they've made, I probably am going to have a recruit on my hands. Now I'm going to have spent some money, no doubt. I've given my profit away, but I will get the sales credit. I will get the host gifts. gifts, and I'll have a recruit. So I think this is probably going to pique some interest. Mm -hmm. So what you're yeah. doing is instead of getting the host gifts, they get the money. 
I'm going to pay mm -hmm. them the profit from the party. And so you they get everything else. They don't get the gifts. Are okay. they teas? <laughs> well, how many people right now wouldn't have a party, though, but if you said, do you have a bill you'd love to pay off? Yeah. 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 If you have a party, I'll give you the profit. Yeah, would you rather have the money? And then when you date three or four parties from their party and say, how great does that money feel? Right, right. Well, I, can, I can take these parties and make the money. I'm happy to do that, but you might like to consider doing that yourself. And they've already had a check in their hand. So I thought I thought that was that was step. That's a great, That's a great idea. idea. And then I've got two smaller ones. One says I pay for parties. <laughs> now that's the same thing. You have a party and I'm gonna pay you the profit. And I pay for referrals. So if you have somebody that refers either a recruit lead or a party lead to you and they either join or hold, you can you can pay them whatever amount you agree to with them ahead of time. Um, these things are, I'm not going to put them on every table. I'm not always going to use them because I need to make money. <laughs> but sometimes when you're like September, I kind of like to go on that cruise. I need to get recruiting here. So I'm willing to spend some money to uh, reach that goal. So these are just some signs that I put on my table that I wanted to show you. <coughs> and then I have a story for you. Um, you know, I was inspired by John's stories. I was at a fundraiser yesterday afternoon, and this very attractive woman walked up to me. She was probably my age or maybe even a little older. And she said, you know, I came to this fundraiser just to see Tupperware. And that's a really nice compliment, oh, yeah. but I didn't know what kind of a compliment it was. She went on to say, Tupperware saved my life. Oh, wow. She said when she was a young mother, she lived in Bakersfield, and she was a teacher. And after she had her second baby, she wanted to go back to work part-time, and the school district had no part-time openings, so she was found herself without a job. And then about seven weeks later, her husband decided to leave her. So she was with two kids, one of them a you know, really brand new baby. And she had a friend who was in Tupperware. And after their Monday morning rally, the distributor at the time, the person like Stephanie was called a distributor, and they always had Monday morning rallies. The distributor and her friend went to her home and visited her. And she became a consultant that day. And she told me that she furnished her house through Tupperware. She paid her rent or her mortgage through Tupperware. She fed her kids and herself through Tupperware. She earned a car to drive through Tupperware. And that's how she, what she meant by Tupperware saved her life. As it happened, this last May she lost her father. And she had come, she told me, I came to see Tupperware because I knew it would make me happy. Aww. And she stood at my table and picked up pieces of Tupperware and caressed them like they were china. I, I had goosebumps. She was so um, emotionally attached to Tupperware and to the business. And as it turns out now, she's a salesperson for Jostens, the people that do the yearbooks and the, the kids' jackets and the school rings and everything. So she's still in sales. But she still came to Tupperware, as Stephanie put it today, to find her joy. I probably won't ever look at a potential Tupperware consultant the same way again. If somebody had not gone to her and had not told her of the opportunity, who knows where she'd be. And what if I got afraid or what if 